that cartoon doesn't really bother me. What bothers me is the hypocrisy behind it. That's what bothers me, that you would portray a black man just because he's in the GOP as a Klansman, that you would portray an American Indian woman, a Native American woman, Olivia Oxidine, who is a Lumbee Indian, and who has had to face the Klan face to face and their egregious actions and had, has had to fight against them. You would portray her as something that vile. The hypocrisy is mind numbing, folks. And I'm here to tell you right now, this office is not going to stand by and let it go by. And when I'm not going to go along to get along, I'm going to call them out on every, on every time. Because here it is. What I want to know from WRAL, is that who you are? Is that who you want to represent yourself to be in this state? And again, it's not a private individual. It's not a private Facebook page. That is a newspaper sells itself to millions of people across this state that would put something that vile out. When I understand the person who drew this is an eighth grade social studies teacher. If that's true and he's teaching these falsehoods, because by the way, wasn't anybody in the GOP that promoted the Ku Klux Klan and the ideals thereof? I can tell you who did that. If he's promoting this in WRL, what is he doing in his classroom? So these standards are divisive. And this should give us pause to pump the brakes, slow down, and revisit this issue. And not pass these standards on tomorrow or on Thursday. Well, we're busy investigating people for simply going to Washington, D.C. And yes, the vast majority of people who went to Washington, D.C. just went to have their voice heard. There was a small minority who did some very bad things and should be punished. But the vast majority of people who went to Washington, D.C. simply went to have their grievances addressed. And now we're trying to hunt down those people and demonize those people simply for wanting to have their voices heard. While a teacher in a, a North Carolina middle school would draw a drawing like that, depicting the first black lieutenant governor as a Ku Klux Klansman. It's something we cannot stand for, folks. It's something that I'm not going to stand for. Free speech, yes, I'm all for it. But when your free speech proves you to be a hypocrite, and I will say this publicly, proves you to be a hypocrite and a liar, we won't stand silent for it, and we're going to stand up against it. It's happening now, and I continue to make sure it's going to happen in the future as Lieutenant Governor. Do you guys have any questions?